welcome back to my youtube channel in today's video we will start a series on how to make a 2d endless runner and i have my scene set up or to the best which it can be before we start making our game and i have my floor ready this floor which i created in a few videos back so um, if you're interested in watching how to make this, I will put a link in my description so you can watch that video. And then there is this um, character animation. So it's uh, going to, it's going to be a few frames. So the run will be four frames, and I, I should be jump right. So I'm going to make these six frames. And um, these are the two animations which I have for now. Now what I have left is supposed to be my sky. So this is inside Photoshop. And let's go into Photoshop. And this is it. So to begin now, we're going to export this inside Unity. So let's go into File, Save As. Inside my assets, I'm going to save this as my sky BG. So let's save that. And go back into Unity. So this is my sky background. You can see it, it's nothing big, it's a sprite um, UI. But rather than leave this to wrap mode, we're going to set this to repeat because we want to be moving it somewhat with the offset. So let's go into a hierarchy, right click this. Uh, let's apply that. So let's right click on our hierarchy. Let's go into um, 3D object and we're going to select a quad. So this is how little it is. And then we'll bring in our floor to the scene also to be somewhere there. Now let's adjust this. Somehow fill the screen. And this should be it. And for my quad, I'm going to bring this over here. And I will scale it. Up so it uh, matches our floor, and this would be the quad. We would, we would not want it colliding with anything, so we're going to remove this collider. But the, man, the renderer would be on there. Now, this floor is okay. I have my quad, so for the quad, I'm going to drag in a material for this. And I'm going to go into my materials. There is a material which has been made for this um, for this sky. Uh, but then if you don't have one created by default, you can go into create materials and then set this, change this from standard. Take it to unlit and then select texture. This way you can place your sprite onto it and then it's going to work just fine. Make sure you rename the material to the um, name which you want it to be called. So I already have one. Let's delete this. And so I'm going to drag this my sky PG onto the quad. And you can see this is what it would look like. Although it's interfering with my floor, it's coming ahead of it and it's not something which I want. So I'm going to reposition this on the Z axis to be zero. And that should be okay. So let's scale this to fill the floor once again. And that should be okay. Right, so I have my floor now and I have my quad. Now let's set up the animation the way we want it. So for my character animation, I have this um, four frame running animation. So this is it. Now I'm going to select the four of them and drag them onto the scene. So let's drag this up here. And it will create an animation by default for me. So this would be our run animation. Let's set that as run. And 
that should be okay so let's rename this let's call this our player then let's select this run animation and check how fast it is for now so um, since I'm not able to play it let's play the game so we can test to see how fast it goes and we can see it's going really fast uh, so we want we would want to slow this down a bit so it um, matches our um, speed or our computer speed and let's let's pause this so let's close the game for now let's go back or let's go into our animation and then let's zoom out quite a bit to somewhere there and so we can give space to this animation to be played so i'm going to select something like six seconds and then this would be placed at four this would be at two and i think this should be good enough for the player to run so Uh, this is still too slow, so let's bring this closer a bit, a bit closer. Let's test this. Yeah, and this should be okay. Yeah, this should be okay. So this run would be my default run. It's, um, of course, the player will be positioned there. It's not really going to be doing anything. The obstacles will be coming towards him. So let's see around there should do. Um, later on, we'll add colliders to deal with this um, floating. So that should not be something to worry about. Uh, it should be okay now. Um, next thing we want is for our background to be moving. So on our quad, we want our offset to be moving on the x-axis so it's going to be moving uh, from right to left so it appears as though our player is actually running and that's what we want so let me set this to zero and i think this should be okay now we're going to create a script for this to handle this particular movement so let's right click in our project panel go into create c sharp script and let's call this our offset b background offset so let's see b g offset and let's open this up in visual studio Uh, so this is it now we'll make reference to two different or we'll create two variables the first one would be a public float and this would be my background speed so let's call this bg speed and the second would be a renderer so let's call this um let's name this public also um um, or we can make this private since there would be no use or no point in referencing it so let's call this a renderer this would be my background uh, let me just call this my bg so that would be my background and in my start i'm going to make a reference to the background so this bg now would be equal to get component and this would be my renderer so this is what will happen in my start so the script which this um, the object which this script is going to be attached to is going to get the component for the renderer in this case that is going to be our quad 
and inside the update what we want to do now is we want to find a way to rotate that on our x-axis so what we do is we make a reference to that texture so this would be um my bg this would be dot material dot uh, main texture offset so this is it and this would give me a new vector 2 so we want to use a vector 2 for this representing our x and y axis and the first um, for the x we are going to more add up our speed so um, we're going to add this so this will be plus equal to the new vector 3 so for the x this would be our, our bg speed multiplied by time dot delta time to stop the jerkiness and for the y it's going to be 0 f so that would be nothing there let's save this now and go back into our game right so with that downloading now we can select our quad and drag this bg offset script onto it so for our background speed you can select a, a speed which would be reasonable for your computer to take or for your game to handle i'm going to go with 0.5 f so that will be okay for me and let me play this game and you can see that my animation is working as well as my uh, my background um, offset so this is going well for now now with this done we've come to the end of today's video we will continue this series later on so if you want to find out how this ends or if you want to learn more about this make sure you stick around for my next video thank you guys for watching this video if you enjoyed it give me a like a subscribe and i hope i see you in my next video